Hey Guardians, welcome back to the Sinful Side of Things. I am Mr. Sin, back with another Destiny 2 Reset video. It is November 5th, and uh, yes, Iron Banner is back. So let's start with uh, Tess Everest, though. Over here in Tess Everest, uh, she has some new items. I think uh, Bungie needs to fix this, because I think we should be able to earn silver inside the Season Pass to get some of these awesome things that they have. Like, look at this skin for the uh, Risk Runner. You know, and all you new light players who... Uh, Enjoy that Risk Runner uh, mission. If you haven't done that mission, go ahead and do it because the Risk Runner is one hell of a weapon. And, uh, you know, just some regular old Tess ever stuff, some new skins and, uh, you know, new ships that are available this week for purchase. Over on the Vanguard side of things, hey Zavala, how you doing? What do you got for us this week, buddy? So, this week's bounties, let's see. <clears throat> so, end the ritual. Go do some bounties. That's all you need to. Just go ahead and do them. Why? Because they give you the most progress in your season pass. That's why. Hey, Shax, what's up, buddy? If you're going to be playing Iron Banner, be sure to pick up some Shax bounties because you're going to be an Iron Banner. And uh, these bounties count in Iron Banner as well. And the more you do bounties, the more you will level up your season pass. You know, if you have the season pass, if you purchased it, go ahead and pick up all them bounties. Now, over here in good old Lord Saladin, Mr. Iron Banner guy. Hey, what's up, bro? Welcome back. It feels like you haven't left. So, Oath of the Pack, defeat opponents and uh, the captured zones and the Iron Banner. You know, progress uh, counts if, you know, you have more teammates capturing the zone to defeat opponents while you have two or more zones captured and defeat opponents with the uh, final blows from any ability whatsoever so i guess you know grenades and supers and melees and all that good stuff and uh be sure to pick up these bounties why because if you're gonna go do the flashpoint on titan you might as well go pick up some bounties from the gunsmith because you just got to get precision kills to go get those uh enhancement mods and you're going to be in crucible you're going to be killing guardians so you might as well pick up these bounties to go get yourself some of these mods because you're going to be playing the game anyway and you need mods to level up and i actually need to go do these i just realized that i'm low on mods hmm. it's a good thing i picked up these uh weapons <laughs> and i quarter a yeah yeah i know i know I know her bounties uh, seem pointless. I know they do, you know, because those weapons drop very, very frequently. But, like I said, man, grab these bounties. They're very easy. If you're going to be doing the raid, you're going to be killing Vex anyway. If you're going to be going doing the uh, Vex, uh, Vex offensive, you might as well pick up these bounties. Why? Again, because I can't stress enough. If you are part of a fire team, right, and you collect those bounties and do those bounties they count towards more so make sure you're part of a fire team before you pop your bounties because they give you more you know xp in them you know and then the hawthorne if you guys want to pick up some uh you know raid challenges for the week she has some for you if you guys are part of a great clan um and the flashpoint is over here on titan like i said so make sure you pick up the gunsmith bounty that correlates with the flashpoint for this week and uh to me i think titan is one of the easiest ones you know and over here we have this knockers uh, nightfall to do so if you guys are going to challenge yourselves and do the 980 nightfall i congratulate you uh i haven't tried it yet only because um uh what do you just there's, there's like so much other stuff to do you know I, I i personally i i just haven't tried it yet i just i think i will this week though because i haven't got that um what is it what does uh knockers give you what is it that uh rocket launcher i think right or, or, or something like that anyway uh, if you guys are going to go in there, these are the burns for this week. Uh, togetherness. Uh, what do we got? Match game. You know, you can only do damage if you know, you're know hitting somebody with the same you know shield that they have on. So make sure you guys got champion barrier rounds and unstoppable rounds. If not, you're not going to be able to kill certain things inside of there. So keep that in mind, man. Uh, when you're doing this 980 Nightfall, if you are going to be going to be doing it. Ta-da. Now. Iron Banner is back. Oh, yeah. Hope to see you guys over there, man. And there's an assortment of Crucible. And Momentum is still here for this week, right? So, uh, I actually had a fun time playing Momentum. I was um, farming some KD. 
with the uh, Void Trace Rifle. I forget the name of it right now, but if you want to go farm some KD, put on the Trace Rifle. It absolutely melts Guardians in there. Uh, so with that being said, guys, you know, I'm just going to end this video. A uh, quick little reset video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. Oh, yeah, the moon. Yeah, go to the moon and go do stuff. You know, it's all, you know, go do some nightmares. It's all self-explanatory. Go get you the weapons in Soros Harbor, too. They, like, you know, rotate every other day. Pretty decent weapons. So, with that being said, if you ain't sinning, you ain't winning. Eyes up, Guardian.